Hey, how are you? I hope you are well. I've had some questions around how the online lessons are working. So I've put a little summary video together so you can see exactly how it works. Um, I've got an external microphone here and speakers so I can hear you nice and clearly. We've had some really good lessons and uh, some really good reviews actually of how, how the online lessons are working. So uh, if you would like to set something up, just let me know. Um, Simon at simonmorell.com or just give me a call 0404 267 623. I'll speak to you soon. Thanks. Bye. Uh, hi, Chris. How are you going? Good. How are you going, Simon? Good. Thanks, mate. Doing some Honky Tonk Women today. Yep. Um, this is one second. Let me put the chart up. You see that okay? Yep. Perfect. Great. All right. Let's just go, go from the top and see how you went over the week. Now, this is always a lot of pressure. <laughs> oh, it's always the pressure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just like that. That riff again. That's good. And so, so something else you can do when you're making that bend, just try and give yourself lots of room so we can hear the E underneath. Yeah. Have another go. That's the way, exactly. Okay, that's good. And just with the bend, make sure you make it from A to B. So that's your note. That's much better, much better. Good. That's the way. Then go back there. That's it. Great. Beautiful. Excellent. That's really, really good. Hey James, how are you going? Good. We were talking about that Cars track, just what I needed. Let me just share the screen with you so you can see the chart. There it is. Perfect. Awesome. We're going to start off with just um, an E5 and we're just going to hit uh, quavers, right? So it's going to be like... Give that a go. That's the way. Okay. And on the four of the bar, and you can see on the chart just here, like you see my cursor around it, we're going to hit an accent. So we're going to go one and two and three and four. Yeah? Give that a roll. Perfect. That's exactly right. Okay, then in bars five to eight, we're just going to hit the four and. So just give that a go. Perfect. All right, and then we're going to go into the verse. So it's a pretty straightforward sort of chord progression. We've got E5, B5. We're going to play a, a C sharp minor at the fourth fret. It's an A minor shape chord. And then uh, a G sharp five. And we're going to just play quavers of those, all right? So it's going to sound like this. One. Exactly. Okay. And then we get to the pre-chorus. Um, it's going to play this like um, kind of blues shuffle thing where it's going to go one and two and three and four and so you're still in E5 and your little finger is going to go up to 11. <laughs> up to 11. Uh, <laughs> one and two and three and four and uh, give that a go. That's the way. And then we're going to hit the uh, C sharp at the fourth fret, all quavers. Yeah, and then G sharp again. So you're just going to a sus4. Let me just come in for you a little bit. And let me just move that around mm -hmm. so that you have, there's the E. Your little finger yeah. is just going to go here on A underneath okay. to make an E sus4. So one and two and three and. Yeah, 
yeah, exactly. That's exactly right, man. So here we are in the solo. We've got bar 57 and it says H there. You can see that on the chart. We're going to start with three quavers. <laughs> We've got four bends, and then on the on the and there, we're going to hit the eleven again. So it's going to be like. That's pretty good. So you just need to hit the eleven there. So you're just going and four and. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, that's the way. And then uh, we're going to do a, an incidental there. I'm just in between the, the three and and the four and in that bar, whatever that is, bar 58. So we've got. So we're going to use our third finger on, uh, on D. We're going to slide into C sharp. That's the way. And then uh, it doesn't really matter whether you bend up or down there, as long as you hit the note, whatever you're comfortable with. So you're going to go. That's it. Awesome. So this is quite tricky because we need to do a semi quaver first, but then the, the next slide actually lasts a quaver. So that we're going to go seven to nine. Nine, nine, slide, play, slide, play, play, play. Okay. Beautiful. Big bend. That's good. When you get to the top of the bend, then just, um, how you manage the vibrato is you get to the top, let it down a little, and then push it beyond where you bent it to. Okay, so that you're going. That's the way. And then just try and make that a bit quicker if you can, so that. It... So you're bending. So you're pushing from the back of your hand in here, so that you're. Oh, wrong note. That's the way. Excellent. Okay, so um, give that a go this week. Uh, the best way to do it is to try and use a metronome. Just do it slowly when you play along. I'll send you uh, a slow version of the track as well, slowed down, so you can practice along with that solo in particular. Thanks very much. No worries, man. <laughs> Anytime. See you later. Cheers, mate. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye.